Aquas! Welcome to the first half of November Love Reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I hope you guys are doing really good. Thank you for being patient and waiting for your reading. So Aquas, I picked up on some, uh, I picked up on a lot of things for you guys. So first I heard Best in Show. Okay, Best in Show, Aqua. You could just be feeling real damn good about yourself regarding your career. I feel like you're probably outpacing people. I was getting the word outpacing. Um, Aquas, I feel more so that you are getting a lot of attention from people. People may, might be competing for you romantically or even just like I said, for your attention. One person will outpace the rest. It's specifically the word outpace. It's, oh, oh, ow. Oh, holy shit. Hold on a second. Ah, sorry, give me a second. Oh my goodness. I, I eyelash incidents. Um, yeah, it's an outpacing aqua. It's an outpacing. Oh Lord, sorry guys. Might might start this over. Um Ah yes, outpacing. So one person's gonna be outpacing the rest. Aqua, this could be you in a, your own competition at work or in love or what have you. But like I said, it can be vice versa. This could be people competing for you. Okay. Um Aqua, I also saw peppermint and basil. Okay, there's a lot of loving energy around you, a lot of loving energy around you. And anytime there's a lot of loving energy around, there's usually something malicious lurking around the corner, right? It could be in the form of haters. It could even just be in the form of negative energy. But Aqua, I think you're very aware of that, okay? And you're feeling the need to protect the loving energies in your life and your loved ones a little more so than normal for whatever reason, excuse me, or another. So just pay attention to that. And peppermint and basil are also really good for that. So just make sure that you have that on hand in your kitchen or your garden or what have you. I know it's like fall slash wintery time. I like, I always, I always get so excited for winter. That's what it is. I'm like, I know we're really in like the middle of fall, but I guess I just need winter to happen personally. Um, I was also getting water goddesses. I thought that was really interesting, Aqua. Uh, some of you might be really um, called to study goddesses, specifically water goddesses will have something in there for you. I don't know why, but that's what they're telling me. You are the water barrier, so it doesn't surprise me. I consider you guys to be the watery air sign. Um, but something about water goddesses was definitely coming out here, okay? Um, also, horse racing. I don't know if that's about horse racing. Horse racing. Horse racing is big for, for some of you for whatever reason or another, or you're having to learn about it. Some of you are having to learn about it. You might be dating someone whose family is really into it or who, you know, they're just really into it. Um, but horse racing is going to be coming up for some people here, okay? Um, if you guys are placing bets, study your bets. Horse racing is not, okay, just, you know, total um, confession. I actually personally really like betting on horse races because I'm a math nerd. I'm a math nerd. And it's like one of the cheapest bets you can make with like some of the greatest payoffs in any kind of like form of gambling. But anyway, neither here nor there. Okay, Aquas, let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle here. Let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle. Oh, I'm getting a U-turn. I don't know what that's about. U-turn energy um, or a change of direction. Aqua, you might be having to go back to your roots. Oh, oh, Aqua. Some of you are having to go back to your roots. It is like holiday time. We're coming into the holiday time, especially here in the States with Thanksgiving coming up. Again, not going to get into the whole timeline change about Thanksgiving. Um, but something about going back to your roots. Some of you might have to go back to your hometown or back to your family's home. Some of you might have to do that here. Some of you, that's going to be more of a soul retrieval energy. Others, it's 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 just you just have to, there's there's something taking you home. There's some something that's taking you home. You need to go home. It's, it's something of that nature. It just feels like you don't really have a choice. Interesting. You don't really have a choice. Um, but I'm still getting a change of direction kind of energy or a possible U-turn here. And we are in Lazarus season. We are in Lazarus season. You're having to look back at an old foundation. It doesn't just have to be a relationship. A lot of you, it is a relationship or an actual house, like an actual foundation. Um, but some of you, it's definitely not a relationship, okay? But it's something that had to be built. It's something that took time to build up. You're having to revisit it. You're having to revisit it from the um, something from the past or someone from the past, okay? Okay, pre shuffle. <laughs> Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For the first half of November regarding love. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aquarius... 
So Moon Rising Venus and Jupiter for the first half of November. Some of you guys are going to be going antiquing. That's kind of cool. I personally have never done that. But I literally just got the word antiquing. Antiquing. I saw some, um, uh, I guess you'd call those vases. They looked pretty big though. They looked very large. Very, very large. Closing forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aquarius. Ooh, okay. We have Eight of Pentacles in reverse Virgo energy. So I, I feel like you're taking a time out from work, Aqua. I feel like you need a rest here. Coming to shore. What the hell? Coming to shore. Coming to shore. Aqua, you've been on a long road on something for a while here. A long road, a long journey, and you're needing to rest. You're needing to rest. You're getting to a place like, it's almost like a rest stop kind of energy. You're getting to a place where you can actually take a break. Is it the end? It doesn't feel like the end. It's just almost like, like docking for supplies you know it feels very much like a resting energy so some of you are taking a little bit of a break from work here others are, you're deciding consciously to not put any effort into something anymore oh boy yeah five of wands in reverse leo energy because it's just been too much it's just been too much all right for some of you you could have had a lot of fighting going on in the workplace or around your work environment and you're just not wanting to deal with it anymore you need a break from that others you're just not you're just taking yourself out of the game okay whatever you were putting effort into there were people who were fighting you along the way or people who were just really getting under your skin multiple people where there was just a lot of tension here okay and you were just like nope no thank you no thank you and like I said for those where um there's a sense of competition where people may be competing for your attention aqua you're not really wanting to deal with them you're not really wanting to deal with them but they want to deal with you <laughs> they want to deal with you let's see Closing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love. That's too many. Closing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Hmm. I'm getting a lot of star imagery. Not surprising. You guys are the star. Aqua. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. So are you going to be flying internationally in the next couple months? It's interesting that that just came up. Um, Latin America for sure. They're like, they're showing me little spots on like a map. Hold on. Latin America for sure. I'm seeing Canada. Show me more. Asia? What part of Asia is that? I'm terrible at geography. So it's always funny to me when they show me like a map because I'm like, I think that's that country. I'll be honest. I'll be the first to admit it. I am terrible at geography. <laughs> terrible at it. Uh, that's I think that's like Southeast Asia. That's got to be Southeast. Yeah, that's Southeast Asia. Anyway, uh, Five of Swords. Venus and Aquarian energy here. Yeah, you're, you've, you're walking away from bullshit. You're, oh, wow. Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy, and then Page of Wands at the bottom. Yeah, I was about to say, you're walking away from bullshit and walking towards your happy place. Walking towards stability. And like I said, for a lot of you, there's this energy of having to go back home. Okay, I don't know what that's about or going back to your roots. Okay, however that resonates for you, with you. Um, it's in regards to your stability. It's going to improve your stability. Whatever this going back home is, whatever going back to your roots is, it will improve your stability here. Okay, there's been a lot of family tension is also what I'm getting. You haven't been paying it. Okay, we're, go we're coming to some family shit, guys. <laughs> Aquas, you've been um, avoiding some family drama. You've been avoiding some family bickering. You've just walked away from it for a while now. And there's there's a need to address it. There's a need to address it to finally attain your Ten of Pentacles or to uh, improve, interesting, or improve your Ten of Pentacles here, okay? So we could actually be moving homes. Most of the things about twins. What is this? Um, hmm, I'm getting something about twins, like actual like twins, not like not counterpart twins, like twins, twins, like people twins, like identical twins. Like, you know, you know what I'm trying to say? You know what I'm trying to say? Um... Are these children? I feel like they're children. I feel like they're children. I feel like they're identical children. I don't, oh my God, what are we getting into, Aqua? They're not born yet. They're not born yet. Okay. Someone's got some future children coming in here. <laughs> who are twins? I want to say twin girls. Yeah, I want to say identical twin girls who are not born yet. You've probably had dreams about them. Interesting. Yeah, they're coming in here. Wow, okay. It, 
Talk to them. They're around. Talk to them. Please report any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aquarius, Sun and Rising Venus. Ooh, two of swords in reverse, moon and Libra energy. You've been, yeah, you've been putting off a decision for a while when it comes to family and your home environment specifically, okay? And it's, and now you're making a decision. You've been putting it off. You've been putting it off because it causes fighting. It causes conflict. First of all, a lot of you people have had a lot to say about it. You just put it on the back burner for now because you're like, I don't want to deal with these people and their bullshit. I don't want to deal with fighting. I don't want to deal with other people's egos. I got to like, think about me. I got to think about me. Okay. Okay. I put it off for too long decision time wow aqua okay we're getting into a lot of interesting stuff here so let's go ahead and get into the reading for those who are new to my channel and new to tarot please know these messages are very very general as you heard me set the intention messages come through for those who really need to hear them so sometimes it'll be you and sometimes it won't and it's okay if it's not uh feel free to check out any other reader here on youtube and don't need to throw any hate at me <laughs> or anyone else for that matter uh, i've noticed that sometimes where it's like if someone's resonating with the read, but another person's not, like they start throwing hate, it's like, no, 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 no. We're not doing that shit in here. We're not doing that shit in here, okay? Anyway, just had to say that. Also, guys, we are working with energy, so know that it can be reversed or vice versa. But if it's resonating with you, you already know who you are in the story. So if you have to reverse the roles, that's okay. Just reverse them. Um, also, don't get caught up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. And this is for the first half of November, but whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it, okay? All right. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of November? Yeah, I'm getting that competitive energy again. Uh, any messages for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of November? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of November? Okay, I'm getting competition and family squabble. I literally just heard squabble, which is actually kind of a fun word when you think about it. Family squabble. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? Hierophant in reverse, Taurian energy here. E -he -he. Um, I why do I feel like it's about inheritance? This is weird. I'm feeling inheritance. Inher I can't say that word. Inheritance. <laughs> there you go. I said it. Um, for some of you, that's what this family squabble's about. It feels like it's long. It feels like it's long ongoing. Too long. Too long. Interesting. Anyway. Hair font in reverse. Um, I do also, yeah, I just feel like, like contracts are not being honored. Contracts are not being honored. Agreements are not being honored. I just feel a lot of drama around that. A lot of drama around that. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? Any messages for, hey, yep, Empress in reverse. Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy. Um, Jesus, Hierophant in reverse, the Empress in reverse. Someone could not be listening to um, their, their higher self or their own intuition, could be ignoring that. Ignoring that. Are they aware? That's interesting. Whoever's ignoring their intuition, I do feel like it's a feminine energy. It doesn't have to be a female, it could be a man. Um, they just, they know something is different, but they don't, they, it's like they're not realizing it's that they're not listening to their own intuition. It's almost like, um, Oh, I, I think I'm just tired or I'm just this, I'm just that. Like not really owning up to the fact that they're not tuned into themselves. Interesting. And they're not tuned into themselves. I'm also feeling a divorce energy here. I do feel a bit of a divorce energy. Um, someone has turned their back on a, on a contract or an agreement, formal or informal. Yeah, there's no growth either. Someone's decided to stop trying to nurture a situation. Okay. Oh, King of Cups, Scorpionic energy could also be water or air, but someone's in love. Okay, <laughs> oh, but someone's in love. Someone's not nurturing something, but there's someone else here who's in love. Okay, wow, we've got two major arcana out of three so far. Out of three cards, I mean to say. Two Taurian energies, so that's a lot of Taurus energy, and then we also have Scorpio and Libra. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of November? I just saw June. I just saw the saw the word June. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? Oh, four of wands, Aries energy. Oh man. Okay. Someone doesn't want to honor a commitment or an agreement of some kind, formal or informal. There's someone here who's full of love. In love. I'm getting in love. In love and really wanting stability, wanting commitment, wanting loyalty here. 
Why is this empress not honoring this? We'll find out why. We'll find out why. Let's keep it going. Sorry, I'm getting downloads and I'm just trying to siphon through. For some, I'm almost feeling like this King of Cups is looking ahead somewhere else for this. Like this King of Cups has accepted that this Empress isn't, isn't buying. This is interesting. This Empress isn't buying and they're like, well, I'll just look for someone who will. Interesting. Okay. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of November? That's going to be for some of you. Any messages for Aquarius? Whoa. Aqua, two of cups, Cancerian energy, also soulmate energy. Oh, no, there, no. Mm -hmm, mm. There's mutual love here. This person's in love, okay? And it feels like a masculine energy. This masculine energy is in love. They're committed, they're loyal, they're ready, and it's mutual. With two of cups, that's a mutual give and take love right there. But there's an empress here who's not nurturing a contract, not listening to their higher self. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of November? Five of Wands in reverse, Leo energy here. No more competition. Yeah, no more competition. This is the person who's outpacing Aqua. This is the person who's outpacing the competition here. Overall energy, we do have Sun in reverse, Leo energy. Yeah, whoever's, okay, whoever this is is not listening to their higher self. It's almost like this person's staring them in the face and they're just like not seeing it. That's it. Like, <laughs> straight up. They're just not seeing it. They're not seeing it because they're not tuned into their intuition. And Sun in Reverse, it's not clear to them. It's not clear to them. Underneath that, we do have a page of pentacles. This is a, a card of study, a card of analyzation, a card of research and reflection. I feel like that's the Empress's energy here. This Empress is trying to figure it out. It's like they know they're missing something, but they're not sure what they're missing. And what they're missing is like love right in your face <laughs> love right in the face love right in the face interesting <laughs> right in the face anyway uh so let's go ahead and look at the hierophant in reverse um i'm gonna use the on mm. yeah i'm gonna use the honest truth deck right here tell me about the hierophant in reverse it's so funny tell me about the hierophant in reverse for aquarius regarding love for the first half of November. I think this Empress loves this king. I really do. I don't know why this Empress is like not, they're just, they're just not aware. Tell me about the Hierophant in reverse. Or they're just ignoring it. Tell me about the Hierophant in reverse. We're gonna find out, we're gonna find out. Tell me about the Hierophant in reverse. Tell me about the Hierophant in reverse. For Aquarius regarding love for the first half of November. Five of Swords in reverse. Venus and Aquarian energy here. Yeah, it just I just keep get this feeling this Empress just like walked away. Just turn the back. Tell me about hair font in reverse. For Aquarius regarding love for the first half of November. Wow, Eight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. Okay, this Empress is in a funky place because it's it's almost like this Empress is in denial because emotionally they haven't let go of something. I feel like they're being forced to look at it though. They, they've had their head in the sand. They've had their head in the sand for quite some time about this because they haven't been listening to their higher self. They haven't been tuned in. If they've been getting messages, they've been ignoring it like intuitive messages, they've been ignoring it, just trying to put it behind them, trying to put it behind them, like not looking at it, I'm not looking at it, I don't need to look at it, but I feel like they're being forced to, being forced, I feel like they're being forced to look at this, being forced to get their head out of the sand. Tell me about the Hierophant in reverse, we're going to dissect this some more. Tell me about the Hierophant in reverse for Aquarius. Wow, wow, Nine of Swords, Gemini energy, okay. What is it? Okay, this Empress is clearly afraid. I don't know what they're afraid of, but they're afraid. They're, it's, it's like, it's so promising. I mean, look at this. King of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Two of Cups. That's love. That's love. That's stability. It's honesty. It's truth. It's very clear cut. It's very clear cut. There's no, 
maybe this, maybe that. Like, it's very, very, very clear. I feel like this empress is actually afraid of it. Interesting. Play with the hair font in reverse for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of November. Play with the hair font in reverse for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of November. Now we have Eight of Wands in reverse. Sag energy, also my designated Mercury retrograde card. Blockages in communication. Yeah, I like, this is amazing. Overall energy, we have the Fool. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because there's a Uranus card. Taking that leap of faith. Yeah, this, um, this Empress is just afraid. Like, honestly, guys, this Empress is just afraid. Look at this energy. Returning with anxiety and fear. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I want to talk. I don't, I don't, I don't even know. I don't know if I don't want to look at that. I don't know. It's like, <laughs> it's so funny to me. All around taking a, a leap of faith towards something. Let's look at the Nine of Swords. I'm going to use Lenormand deck on this one. See more about this fear here. Let's look at this Nine of Swords. Oh, interesting. So we have the tree. Energy of five with the Seven of Cups. I get confusion with this. Yeah, fear and confusion. Fear and confusion. The tree is also um, an energy of slow growth or organic. It could also be family or ancestry. And like I said, let's pick up on some family energy along with that. But this is like, this is rom this is romantic to me. There could be some family drama or family issues or family hangups that could be causing fear in this empress. Um, but I'm just getting fear and confusion. And I feel like it's been slowly building up over time to the point where now this person's at the Nine of Swords energy about the situation. Play with the Nine of Swords for Aquarius. Play with the Nine of Swords for Aquarius. Play with the Nine of Swords for Aquarius. Regarding love for the first half of November. Wow. Anchor. 35 breaking down to an 8 with the Nine of Swords. The anchor is about feeling stuck. Feeling stuck, feeling bogged down. This empress could be feeling bogged down by family obligations. That's definitely the epitome of family obligations right there. Or fear of like, repet <clears throat> excuse me, fear of repetitive family issues. Play with the Nine of Swords for Aquarius. Play with the Nine of Swords for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of November. Uh, uh, blocks <laughs> what did i say blocks and communication the block card 21 breaking down to a three which is about communication and we have the eight of wands here at the bottom eight of wands in reverse yeah communication is blocked because this person either feels afraid of repeating some family history or they're obligated to family or they're or they're afraid of being stuck or they're just afraid of being stuck and tied down afraid of commitment overall energy we do have the mice 23 breaking down to five with the uh, seven of wands. This is like a pest card. Pest annoyances, like a nagging, a nagging, a pest, a pestering, a pestering. Wow. Yeah, that's what this empress is afraid of. It's just, it's fear of commitment for some. It's family obligations are a block and it's like eating up at this person and they can't really give any more attention elsewhere. Or they're afraid of repeating family patterns. Wow. That's really unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. All right. So, that's what's going on with the Empress. Let's go ahead and look at this king who's just like, again, it's so simple. It's so clear cut. Like, I love you. I want commitment. I want stability. I want loyalty. I want equality. That's it. <laughs> it is so freaking simple. So let's look at this King of Cups here. Let's see what's going on with them. Um, I am going to use Crystal Visions for this one. And then we'll look at the Five of Wands in reverse where I feel like they're outpacing competition right there. And then we'll pull some advice. Time with the King of Cups. Time with the King of Cups for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of November. Time with the King of Cups for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of November. Give me a second, guys. Sorry. Mm. Okay. 
So I'm at the King of Cups for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of November. Keep in mind, guys, gender doesn't matter. Empress can be a man here. King of Cups can be a woman. So. Okay. Tell me about King of Cups. Wow, Six of Swords, Aquarian energy here. This is moving on and moving forward. I feel like this king wants to move forward into a commitment, honestly. I feel like they want to move forward into a very solid commitment. Play with the King of Cups. And like I said, I was kind of feeling that. Like, like maybe I should just leave the Empress behind if they really don't want this. Wow, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Taurian energy, no longer wanting to wait. No longer wanting to wait. Tell me about this King of Cups. Queen of Cups in reverse. Can't Cancerian energy can also be Pisces or Scorpio. I'm getting hurt with this. Hurt and codependency. 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 This king is thinking about leaving, uh, leaving behind this empress. They're tired of waiting. Wow, and then we have the world starting a whole new cycle, fixed energy. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, Trolls, Capricorn. They want to start a whole new cycle where they're happy in love in a very healthy, stable, equal relationship. And they feel like this Empress has way too many hangups or way too many blockages when it comes to family patterns um, or fear of commitment um, or even just family obligation. They're tired of it. They feel like this, this Empress is not really, how do I say this? Just not very emotionally stable. And I don't mean that in like a crazy way. I just mean like not emotionally stable. Not emotionally solid. So more about this King of Cups. And remember guys, don't get caught up in the gender. I really feel like for a lot of you, this king might be a woman. And this empress might be a man. I don't know why I keep feeling that, but I do. So more about the King of Cups. It doesn't have to be, but I'm just saying I'm really feeling that. That's why I'm saying it so much. So I have the King of Cups for Aquarius regarding love. Let's see here. Now we have the Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy building. Yeah, this King wants to build a solid foundation. But look what they're leaving behind. I. They're leaving behind a queen that they don't want to wait on anymore. And starting a whole new cycle here to build with someone. To build with someone here. And then we have the Hierophant Upright, Taurian Energy. They want to build a commitment. Honestly, like, that's all this person wants. A healthy, reliable, solid, loving commitment. Overall Energy, we have the Hermit in Reverse, Virgo Energy. This, this king knows what they want. This king knows what they want. I want to look at the Three of Pentacles here. I want to see if we can get any more information on this. Uh, let me use the Kipper deck. So I'm trying to, like, I want to figure out if this is with the Empress or someone else. I really feel like it's just moving forward to offer this to someone else. Because the Empress wasn't getting their shit together. So I'm at the Three of Pentacles. But an Empress in Reverse, so keep that in mind. An Empress Upright has their shit together. Empress in Reverse, not so much. So I'm at Three of Pentacles. So I'm at Three of Pentacles. For Aquarius, time of Three of Pentacles for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of November. Hmm. We have Pathway, 35, breaking down to an 8. Pathway is a timeline card of two years. So something could have happened two years ago. Um, this person could have been dealing with this Empress for two years, or there's something could be happening two months down the line from here. But this is a Destiny card and heading in the right direction, heading towards the light, essentially. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Change of direction. Change of direction. I Yeah, I feel like this Empress was having a really hard time getting over some of their own stuff, some of their own shit. And then this King's like, you know what? I know what I want. <laughs> and you're not really on the same page with me. You're not really trying to be on the same page with me. Uh, so I'm going to go try to find this elsewhere. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles for Aquarius. Regarding love for the first half of November. Time of the Three of Pentacles. Wow, family room, 21 breaking down to a three. So I I feel a closeness. I'm getting that, that same, uh, that, God, what did they say before? It was like uh, coming to shore. 
coming to shore, coming to shore. This is another timeline card. This is what's so interesting to me. So there's a two-year timeline card, and then there's a 24-hour to a month timeline card here. Something could have gone on with this Empress for two years, and now this person's like changing directions, changing directions. So I have three of pentacles for Aquarius regarding love. All right, that's it overall. Wow. Imprisonment, 29 breaking down to an 11. Oh, and look at this, community, 39, which is an energy of three here. Community is like a, exactly how it sounds, it's a community card. It's social network, it's also family, feeling imprisoned by this. Yeah, someone's got family hangups. Someone's got family issues, family hangups, family obligations, or repetitive toxic family patterns that's, keep, that's keeping this empress blocked off from this kind of connection. And there's someone here who wants to give this to the Empress, but it's to the point where this person's like, you, you clearly haven't dealt with it, this stuff. So I, I need, I need to keep it moving. I'm not going to, I'm not going to wait if you're not going to work on this stuff. I've given it for, for a lot of you, this, this King has given it two years of dealing with this Empress and is now like, you know what? Mm, I, I got, I, I, no, like I can't, I can't. I can't. Keep in mind, this is 24 hours to a month out of the time that you guys see this, okay? Of this king changing directions here, okay? Aqua, this could very well be you. All right, now let's look at the five of wands in reverse, and then we'll pull some oracle cards here. Um, yeah, let's do gilded. So I got the five of wands in reverse. So I got the five of wands in reverse for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of November. So I have a five of wands in reverse for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of November. So I have a five of wands in reverse. So I have a five of wands in reverse for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of November. Time of Five of Wands in reverse for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of November. What do we got here? Oh my. Eight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy with the Six of Pentacles, Taurian energy. And then we have a Knight of Pentacles. Uh, Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire. Let's take away this Eight of Cups in reverse for a minute. So the Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, this is growth. This is building. This is also equality and a sense of giving. I feel giving here. I feel giving. I feel like, again, this is someone standing out from the competition. Giving. Eight of Cups in reverse. I do feel that return energy here. So it's interesting. It's almost like this king is moving on by going back. Mm. Moving on from this empress by possibly, possibly with someone else from their past. Possibly here. Huh. Interesting. Let's keep it going. Talking about the Five of Wands in reverse. High Priestess in reverse. Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. Secrets coming out. Secrets. Ooh, what secrets? Oh, we're really going to dissect this one, guys. This is getting really juicy. Talking about Five of Wands in reverse for Aquarius. King of Pentacles. Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air. Oh. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, I see. Someone's coming to this king as a knight. Someone's coming to this king of cups. And now they're realizing that this king of cups, I feel like has matured since this person knew them. Yeah, this is someone from the king's past. This is someone from the king's past. So I got five of wands in reverse. So I got the five of wands in reverse. Ooh, Three of Swords in reverse, Libra energy, healed, healing. Wow, this is someone who dealt with the king previously. This is someone who dealt with the king previously. This king's been dealing with this empress. This empress hasn't been able to get their shit together. Again, an empress in reverse would not have their shit together. Um, and this king's like, I can't do this. I can't do this because I know what I want. I know what I want. And while this is happening, someone's coming towards the king from the king's past. Wow. Overall energy. Oh, 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 a queen of wands. Aries energy could also be fire or water. Wow. With the knight of wands, Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo. What did I say? They're coming as a knight. 
because now they've they're looking at this king who this person's known before like this person's mature this person's healed look at this oh my <laughs> oh this is who's coming for the king of cups underneath that look five of wands competition leo energy look three of pentacles building three of wands this is coming in this is a ship that's coming into the king i'm so shook right now guys <laughs> oh, oh my god oh my god i am so shook so to paraphrase we have an empress in reverse who just can't deal they've got family issues they've got family squabbles toxic family patterns or family obligations or fears of commitment and this king's been dealing with this empress in reverse and this king getting to, and this king is getting to the point of like I, I like I, I can't do this because this is what I want and I know I'm capable of this. I know I'm capable of having this. I'm capable of giving this. And Herman and Reverse, remember that's their over over energy. I know. I know what I want. I know what I need and I know what I need to do. And I know I need to leave this behind because it's not working. You're not emotionally stable or you don't have good footing right now or you're codependent, whatever it is. Now. Mm. Mm. Now someone from this king's past is returning to this king returning to this king offering making offers here because they realize this king has matured this king has grown up since this person last knew them and what are they offering i can't hold all these cards up hold on sorry guys hang in there with me what are they offering look this is the person who's coming into this king hold on i need to be an octopus <laughs> this queen is cut this queen of wands is coming into this king as a knight of wands and a knight of pentacles they're offering passion they're offering stability this king is offering love that's pretty much all you need to really build something solid they're beating out the competition they're beating out the competition for this king to build okay to build and this is the ship that's coming into this king this king will have this kind of relationship okay it's going to be with a queen of wands from someone from their past when i say someone from their past it could also be a past life okay so also know that it could also be a past life here but i really feel strongly that these two have history these two got history okay and this empress unfortunately is staying stuck wow aqua this is probably the best reading of this batch i have to say i was a little worried because gemini's and libras were like telenovelas and really kind of painful this was kind of interesting this was really interesting what a surprise okay all right so let's go ahead and pull some advice any advice for my aquas any advice for my aquas I'm so amazed. Any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? Any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? And like I said, guys, I can't shake this feeling that the queens and empresses here are actually men and that the king is a female. I can't shake that. It doesn't have to be, but I just can't shake that intuitively. And I almost never say that because energy is energy and we don't read gender here, but I just, I'm feeling it so I have to say it. Any advice from my Aquarians regarding this spread? Any advice from my Aquarians regarding this spread? Wow. Oh. Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. 57, breaking down to a three here. Squirrel spirit, squirrel spirit's about having that confidence. Having the confidence to do whatever it is you got to do. In this, in this instance, it's also about communication. To say whatever it is you got to say. I feel like this king is needing to muster up that strength a little bit to have these very honest conversations about what's best for this king. And then we have pig spirit. Use, I can't think of these cards today. Use your mind wisely. 47 breaking down to an 11 here. This isn't just using your intelligence or common sense. It's also about using your own intuition here. Okay? I feel like this is coming in from the queen, actually. The queen of wands. Interesting. The person coming in here. Um... Either way, it's having the wisdom to know what you want and to be, have the confidence to speak on what you want and what's best for you, okay? Let's see what else we got here. Any other advice for my aquas? Any other advice for my aquas? Oh, oh, ant spirit, time to collaborate, energy of one. This is my three of pentacles card and that did come out a couple times, didn't it? Hold on a second. Got so many cards down here. I know I saw that somewhere. Oh, yep, I did. <laughs> 
I put nails on, so sometimes it's hard for me to pick up the cards. Yeah, this is my Three of Pentacles card. So this is building a foundation, working together, working as equals, working as partners. This King of Cups and Queen of Wands will start building together, without a doubt. They're going to start building together. Any other advice for my Aquas regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Aquas? Oh, what did I just say? Canary Spirit, sing your own song. 12, break it down to a three. Another card about communication and speaking the truth, speaking what's best for you. And also speaking from the heart is what I just heard. Speaking from the heart. Any other advice for my Aquas regarding this spread? Overall energy, bat spirit, a rebirth is assured. Energy of five, so change and transformation. Like I said, this king of cups and this queen of wands who's coming in to this king after this king is done dealing with this empress in reverse, who again, who doesn't have their shit together here. Um, they they have history. For a lot of you, this king of cups and king of wands has history, okay? This will be a whole new kind of journey for them, a whole new cycle. Remember, we had the world out here. That's not just any cycle. That's like a whole new book. That's a whole new chapter. That's a whole new like 10, 12 years or whatever it is, right? Um, and this queen is also coming in understanding that this king has matured since they've last dealt with them, okay? Wow. Ooh, I like it. I really, really like it. I feel bad for the empress, but we all got our journeys. We all got our own learnings, you know, learning to do. We've all been there where like we got caught up on shit. We should have healed and we didn't heal it. And then we bit the, you know, bit us in the ass and then you heal it, right? This Empress will deal with it. This Empress will deal with it. Wow, Aquas, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. And I hope you don't forget to check out Patreon and Vimeo. Partner readings should be up by the end of the week, most likely by Sunday. I'm going to try for tomorrow, which is Saturday here in the States, in the Northern Hemisphere. But anyway, I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Aquas. Namaste.